Tarhead Sports would like to thank the Educational Foundation for their unwavering financial backing of Carolina Athletics. Without their continuous and generous support of Tar Heel basketball, not one second of our fan journey would even be possible. of trespass on properties of UNCCH. Halted our t-shirt sales and probably will for a good long while. Go in. Oh! Serge Swicker. Serge Swicker, seven foot two. There he goes. Oh, another brick. I can't believe it. I think uh, Serge Swicker looks like Scott Cherry with a pituitary gland. Gone berserk. Watch this one. This is the next star to wear a Carolina uniform. Here he goes, oh yes, great timing, excellent hands, tremendous agility. Oh damn, look, it's sick feet and roll. <laughs> <Too long. laughs> well, this one's for the comfort zone. Got to push but only a slight comfort. Mm -hmm. It'll make it a three-point lead. A three-point shot by Temple would tie it up. Some great three-point shooters. Kilgore making as well. A three-point lead. Ball in the hands of Macon. Macon for three. On target. And it's over. And Carolina advances to the final four. Our first Final Four. A very short-lived experience. <laughs> and what came up even shorter was our documentation of the journey. You didn't have a video camera, did you? I did not own one, AJ, because you know what? This was the late 20th century. Not everyone was running around with a video camera in their pocket. You were a film major. RTVMP. Do not exaggerate, man. I was not yet the writer, director, producer, editor that I am today. Yeah, but we still have memories. We do. We got some really good memories because you know what? You need to check out the glove box. Oh. Now, you might not remember, but in 1991, as a junior in college, I did own a 35 millimeter still camera. Check out the pics I got, dude. The Indiana State Line. Of course. Who's that girl? I don't remember. Deadhead sticker on a Cadillac. Well done. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway Motel. Cocktails. I don't remember cocktails being served at our motel. We weren't there long enough to find out. A little pregame photo. Wow, that one tells a story. Yes, it does. I got some game shots too. There's King Rice looking for an opening. Yeah. Hubert Davis, Rick Fox playing some D. And guess what? Hubert Davis came to play. He led all scores with 25 points on 9 of 16 shooting. Wasn't enough. There he is. Class act. Hey, Dean, shaking hands with the Kansas guys after getting teed up and kicked out. Ah, uh, see ya. I remember the Duke students yelling that really loud as Dean left the arena. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I had that blocked out of my memory. But honestly, how did you get all these great angles from our crappy corner seats? Okay, I downloaded all those off the internet. But I did take a camera to the 1991 Final Four, and I did take three photos. Keep flipping. There's Gerald and Kevin outside of the arena. Very cool. There's Kevin Wilner and I on the ESPN set acting like we're commentators. Not as cool, but okay. Oh, I do remember this moment in time. How could you forget? A crazy old man from the Rams Club sucker punching Kevin Toll in his not yet scrambled face. Legendary. You don't have to scramble my face. Listen, 
If that elderly punk is still alive, I want him to see the look in my eyes because 25 years later, I'm still really pissed. I'm sorry. I'm still scarred by those memories. Their voices were so loud. They would not stop screaming, sit down, sit down. And we could hardly see the floor sitting down. This wasn't the Smith Center. There were dudes standing in front of us. Tall dudes, and this one girl, she had like really tall hair. Talk about raining on our parade. We're college kids at our first Final Four. Just trying to cheer on our team, you know? Our fellow students. Yeah, so when the student athlete introductions began, we realized that our group of friends from the student body, we were in the last row of students. The worst row possible, right in front of the old farts. The Rams Club. Some older alumni. The Educational Foundation. We were the students. Students! The students! Hello, we are the students here. The ticket office really blew it that year. Putting 20 rows of fired up kids right in front of those cheese and wine geezers. Sit down, sit down. They were intense. We could hardly watch the battle on the court because of the brawl in the stands. Young, broke, college students. Versus old, rich couch potatoes. And that's why the man has now relegated all student seats at the Final Four to not on the court, but below the court. Totally out of the viewing angle of any millionaire donor who'd like to keep his butt in his seat. Oh! Hey, like it or not, like the man said, it is big business. So this old timer, he's like angry and unhinged. He keeps yelling in my face, sit down. He's like making threats for the first 10 minutes or so. Phelps will bring it back out. Now on a wing, it's Reese. Good shot by the freshman. Everybody wondered when this great freshman recruiting class was... Then, at the eight-minute timeout, he takes a swing at me. I mean, look at the picture. I'm wearing glasses. And he punches me? I actually held on to Kevin's broken glasses. I had them repaired. And then I wore them to the next few Final Fours, just hoping that geriatric bully would be sitting behind us again. I'd like to see him punch me. That day is the primary reason I became a t-shirt inventor. Since then, I've had this dream of printing a custom Final Four shirt with the logo on the front and these words on the back. I'm not sitting down, old man. Yeah, well, it's, it's been a long time. In my best memory, my only Final Four is probably this cap. I bought this in the arena right before our game tipped. Pretty cool. It still fits. And to top that great day off, Roy and the Jayhawks upset the heels. And then we had to sit and watch Duke pull a stunner against undefeated UNLV. And we only made a hundred bucks selling our Monday tickets. Yeah, because we were new to the game. You know what though? The brevity of that first trip taught me a very important lesson. If you want to properly document the road to the Final Four, you need to film early and often. Yeah, and preferably in motion pictures. Good afternoon. I don't know why the hell I'm here. It's raining. It's kind of cold. I'm late to the game. The game's already started, but it's the kickoff to the 95 season. 94, 95. So I've got to be here because my man Bill Robinson is taking it easy in Cali like a bum. You know, I'm here because I'm, I'm a big Carolina fan. All in the name of ball. Tip off. The basketball team is taking the court. But you know, now Bill is all in the name of ball and chain because he's married and settled back in California. You can't be here today like a bum. But I tell you what, I'm getting ready to go walk up to the game. I'll see you at the Smith Center. Carolina down by one at the half. Sloppy first half. What do you think, P.S.? The Hills will pick it up a notch or two in the second half. Hey, Bill. Is Bill gonna hey, see this? Hey, tell Bill how lame he is for not being here. West Coast, who cares? 
It's only what? Six, seven, eight, ten hour flight? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Bill. That's right. <laughs> I think the boys should be taking the course sometime pretty soon. It's awesome! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a sold-out cold field house in College Park, Maryland. The number one Tar Heels taking on the number eight Terps from Maryland. They're going crazy. We'll be back with all the highlights. We're going to Norfolk, the first road game of the year, because we couldn't drive to Hawaii, according to Bill. I think we could have, because we're deadheads. Tar heads, this is what the shirt's all about, head gear. Going to the Scope, Seth. Have you ever been to the Scope? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia, where the Tar Hills will visit the hometown of senior Ed Geth, hoping to notch another victory on the road to the Final Four. Stackhouse! <laughs> With the jam! So what do you think, Bill? We're gonna take it? It's crazy. We're the only four Carolina fans in the whole place, and we're gonna win. This place is so rocking, it's crazy! Championship and the Tar Heels took their first step today coming here to Norfolk to play against the Monarchs of Old Dominion the talented sophomore trio of Jeff McGinnis, Jerry Stackhouse and Rashid Wallace did well. Wallace finished up with 24 and Stackhouse led all scores with 27 points. The Tar Heels sneak out of a fired up scope with a 19 point victory. They're on their way to Seattle. Wait, guys, you still believe, right? Bill, are you in? AJ, AJ, you still believe, right? No, we are still going to Seattle. We've got to keep believing. You've got to keep the faith. Besides, we've got to go. I already bought my plane ticket. Welcome to Seattle, sports fans. We're here. What do you think, John? Yeah! We're there, baby! We're here, crossing Lake Washington, going into Seattle. Excuse me, sir. No cameras allowed in this cab. No, oh, this is what? No cameras in this cab. Sorry. We're here in Seattle, getting ready to go to the final four. I just have one thing to say. I'm from North Carolina, I live in LA, and I sell hoisting equipment for a company based in Arkansas. My, what a big country it is. And that is one big dome, baby. Big country! Here we are in Seattle, the music capital of the world and home of the grunge scene. We'll see if this guy knows sports. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ed the Tuba Man. Yes. Ed, can you play Sports Center for us? You want to hear Sports Center? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! There it is, oh, ladies Sonics. and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the grunge scene, Liz. It looks more like the grime scene with that dude. <laughs> Road kill! Oh! We're jamming out here in front of the dome for the first game, UCLA versus Oklahoma State. We got some Seattle music for you. Let's go ask a local guy what the, his prediction for the game is. UCLA number one over. 
over the big country <laughs> to meet the hogs on Monday night, and we're gonna cook them and be number one again. UCLA. I don't like over the hogs the prediction, country. but I can I can deal with that big belly. <laughs> today's second national semifinal game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now let's meet the starting lineups. For North Carolina at forward, a 6'6 sophomore from Kinston, North Carolina, number 42, Jerry Stackhouse. Carolina gets it inside, but then turns it over as Stackhouse had Razorbacks around him. He hurt his ankle right off the bat. Jerry Stackhouse in some trouble. Outside, Elmer Martin. Knocks down a three, and the officials will let Stackhouse get to the bench. Carolina with its first lead, 11-10. Remots. There's a release to Wallace. Wallace with Dillard there. Why? Oh, the big man does a 360 on the small man. Donald Williams got it to go. He had missed his first four. Stackhouse. Still out, outside Williams. Steps in for a two. Carolina back ahead by one. Thurman still hasn't scored. With 440 remaining in the half. This is a three. Williams again. Just beats the shot clock. I cannot believe that he's getting so open. Williams left open. Been saying that all game long. Sullivan will shoot one more. We were talking about his long journey back to the Final Four. He really was able to rehab after that surgery by swimming. Scotty Thurman, the ball in his hands. Eight seconds to go. Landry's got a problem. Finally, they find Corliss. Double team, and he Walk. traveled. Plenty of time now for North Carolina to get something off. Dean Smith quickly puts back in his starters. Sullivan throws the baseball pass off the backboard. Stewart launches it. Is it enough? Yes! Can you believe that one? How about that? Dwight Stewart from just inside the midcourt strike. Williamson has position. Now they get it to him. There you go. Williamson, what a move. Again, Rashid Wallace going to be taken to school if he thinks he can play Corliss Williamson behind. Nothing like what we saw in the first half. Nope, didn't see much of that in the first nope. half either. Corliss with 11 points in this half to put the Razorbacks ahead. Lee Wilson. Last basket by Robinson, this one by Wilson. The sophomore centers give Arkansas a 10-point bulge. Calabria, will he get one? Not this time. Williamson has position on Stackhouse. Back out now to Stewart. Three-pointer. Got it. Inside, outside game. You've got to help out on Williamson. Stackhouse too small. Williamson, unselfish nature, puts it right back outside. This is great execution by Arkansas in the second half. Three-pointer. Donald Williamson, a timeout call. And Carolina. With some life here, Stackhouse to the hole for two. Incredible to think they went 12 minutes without a field goal or in the ball game. That was a huge turnaround. On the eighth team foul, the next one also will be a one and one. Stewart this time. Oh. No. A three to tie. Carolina on an eight-nothing run. Williams. 
Rebound to Thurman. Who was that? We didn't need that! Yeah. Okay, get ready to celebrate if they hit it, baby. Draws Corliss outside. A lot of time, man to man defense here. Stackhouse driving. Clear it. Stackhouse to the line to tie it up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Now, two free throws to tie it. Williamson picked up his fourth with that foul. Oh! No foul. No foul. Good D. Ooh, that was close. Play some D. Play some D, baby. No foul. No foul. Do not foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No foul. What? What are you doing? You see Dean? Dean went the wing and fire free from Gotta believe though, we gotta keep believing. Some nervous faces on the Tar Heel bench as Clint McDaniel, a 76% free throw shooter, attempts to make this a three point ball game. And he does just that. 27 seconds to go and the heels trail by three. McGinnis brings it up court. He drops it to Stackhouse, who dribbles a bit, then literally drops it to Calabria. The ball is loose, but wow, what a recovery by Dante. Over to McGinnis, to Wallace, to Stackhouse for two. Stackhouse has position. Landry finds him for the jam. Tons of time left. Williams up to Stackhouse, on to Calabria, and what a dish to Wallace for the Tomahawk jam. But Jerry will not be outdone. This is the most exciting 25 seconds of Carolina basketball I have ever Ever seen. Stack passes up the three. He drives to the rack for the reverse, for the reverse, for the win, for the win. Unbelievable. Uh, why is it blinking? Means the batteries are running out. Whoa. We're getting low on the bat. Hey! Well, here's the King Dome post game when the Tar Heels have just failed to win. Failed. Very, very disappointed. The vibes were bad all day long. The Rams club was too dominating. Too dominating. Katie ended up with a hat with the ram on it. On her head. Here's where the season started, right here. Alabama. Why in the hell does he have a hat that says Alabama on it? Damn. The road to New Jersey starts in Seattle. Hey! If Rashid and Stack can come home, just come back for one last year. If they will just stay. We're going to New Jersey, I promise. You gotta believe. And we're bringing Vince along with us. We're gonna stick to the road like a suction cup, baby. <laughs> Hey, that really hurts. Oh, you want to hear Sports Center again? <laughs> How does it go again? Do you know any blues, man? Blues, as in. Uh, it's in your hat. It's in sadness. You know any Nirvana? No, I don't. 
Uh, what I hear, um, smile, and I got a Davida. Okay. All right. Hey. <laughs> sure, man. Definitely chase away the blues. We have a gun. I'm going to buy the tune Happy Birthday for one dollar for my girlfriend Bernadette. Ah, somebody here is having a birthday. This pretty girl right there. Oh, I agree. <laughs> Happy birthday from it. Hey man, you're gonna pick me up Friday, right? Oh yeah, the road to the Final Four winds through the Philly airport. And we're gonna cut down some nets at the Meadowlands. Cause this is our year. Common sight in New York City is all the trash. Everywhere you go, there's trash up and down the sidewalks. Well, maybe that's why Antoine Jameson likes to play in the Big Apple, because he's our garbage man. Collecting trash and putting it back in the bucket. Hey, Bill. Cal wins the game. Sets up a matchup. If Carolina wins, your dream matchup. And Cal against Carolina in the finals. Hey, man. This is a classic. Not a tournament. Some folks like to get away. Take a holiday from the neighborhood Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood But I'm taking a Greyhound on the Hudson River line I'm in a New York The Carolina coast has never had a rope. We're getting ready to sneak down, down low in the media room to get an interview with the Ram exclusive. Let us go. Hey Ram! Hey Ram! Yo! Ram! Ram! Come here, man! We'd like an interview. Tarhead Sports! Did the Ram just flip us off? We're here in Rockefeller Center, New York City. Last night when South Carolina beat up on UMass. Pretty good game, not too bad. We're just enjoying the tree and all the other sites here on Fifth Avenue. Guy's trying to sell some ramaged goods over here. Good, maybe you can get a new hat, loser. Have any Carolina Tar Heel stuff? Say what? North Carolina Tar Heel stuff? Shit, F dot. Nothing with the ram on it? No ram, no crap, just New York. All right, all right. We'll have to go elsewhere to find our ramaged goods. Ebio Schwartz, famous toy store. I thought the F stood for Fila. It does. Filaville. Filaville. You see, Dan, I've been looking for some Fila tennis shoes. I can't find any quality Fila tennis shoes. I was hoping maybe your L's could make me up some. Well, I'll check it out. All right. All right. All right. And we were also hoping we could get a victory uh, for North Carolina over Princeton tomorrow. Oh, I don't know about that now. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a tough one. Oh. All right. Nike has officially sold out to the Ram. <laughs> How are Nikes? <laughs> <laughs> they got our championship trophy over there. You know why? Because we sold out to the swoosh. That's right. We're whores. We're just working for the man. We're slaves to Nike. See that ram? We thought they were cool, but they put ramaged goods out for the public to see in the big apple. They got right, a man. We got a man from the championship team, and he says it's the real thing. It is, is it the real thing? It's the real thing, guys. <laughs> no lie. We have sold out to Nike. Are you getting any of that money? No. <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> 
this fine gentleman here playing the uh, Christmas carols. Tin drum. You know, it's the holiday season, but we're more interested in finding if he can play Sports Center. Does he know it? That's the question. Do you know the theme from Sports Center? What? The theme from Sports Center. Da 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 da. You can do it. Da 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 da. That's the Lord. I ain't know the melody. Go ahead. Da da da. Yeah, I don't want to piss up. I don't know the melody. That's all it is. Da 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 da. I got two dollars that says you can do it. That's all. Yes. That's all. That's it. One more time. He's great. A little bit better than the tuba man. He's actually better than we thought. I can't play it. I don't know the melody. <laughs> oh, it is. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Last night, we tried to interview the Ram after the game, as you well know. Well, he slipped out of the middle ends a little earlier than we had hoped and never got down to him. But we found the next closest thing oh, right over here. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, listen. Would you like a still photograph of Bonnie? Uh, still I photograph. Still, what, what, what I do is I do like to ask Bonnie a question. Bonnie, okay. do you know the Tar Heel Ram? Big dude. Goofy costume. Do you know him? He's got, like, yellow horns. Do y'all hang in, like, the same circles? I mean, you know, kind of a mascot kind of thing. Do y'all hang out together? No? Cat's got his tongue. All right, well, we just wanted to know, man. I mean, you know, we've tried to get an interview with him, but we'd like to talk to you a little bit. Yeah, last night the game was uh, not so exciting due to the lack of folks and enthusiasm, but Serge Wicker did have 12 near boards, and on one of those near boards he got dumped upon. But uh, we would just like to kick off the uh, holiday season. We're getting ready to go down to Philadelphia and just want to wish all you a happy Hanukkah. Serge Sports is getting ready to see the culmination of their hard work and see Jordan play stack it. Excuse me, sir, do you think going to win the Bulls 76 er game tonight? You know who's gonna do it. Who's that? Six. I hear it. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you know who's gonna do it. <laughs> that was cool, Santa Claus. I, mean, I bet that man wears Fila. <laughs> I tell you what, we're going lanes to Fila. <laughs> Woo! Fila Bill. We're on our way. Air Robinson. <laughs> What's going on here tonight? Merry Christmas, live from Philadelphia. I'm really not sure who to pull for, but. I got a feeling stack is going to go off. What do you think, AJ? I think you're right, Bill. I think he's got something to prove against his airness. Maybe Dean will be here tonight. I think he will. Two of his most famous recruits and prized students. Maybe Pat Sullivan will join us tonight. Pat is a now a cult figure for Tar Heel Sports. I believe so. He is a new member of the team. He was actually the first semi-famous person to voluntarily participate in a Tar Head sports event. I think we should talk to him tomorrow. What do you think? I'm all for it. Let's do it. Sure hope we don't get in the way of someone behind us. Doesn't matter when the last row. How does it feel to be on the last row, Graham? I don't know. Got a nosebleed. And now, to honor America and salute the men and women serving our country, here to sing the national anthem, please welcome a 6'6 six, six forward from North Carolina, number 42, Jerry Stackhouse. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming. Put up, they put up North Carolina class of 97. So Jerry, uh, what do you think of your senior season thus far? Uh, it was cool. I mean, I was the baby of the family, so I ate first. How do you think the team is? You think you can make it to Indy? My mom would always say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Hey, do you and MJ want to head to Atlantic City with us? We did not find a treasure trove here at the Tropicana Casino in Atlantic City. Oh, don't worry. You can find some slots and some craps and various table games. But unfortunately, you can't find money. Hey, Graham, the casino is that way. All right, let's go. <laughs> Graham isn't too pleased about the situation. Three miles. Three, Three short miles. miles to fun in Tigerland, Tiger Town. Three short miles, miles to our third game of the weekend. You know, I'm psyched about going, but I really care more about the Panthers Steelers game today. Can't lie to you. Graham. I don't think you realize the mission of Tar Head Sports. 
This is Jadwin Jim. Jadwin Jim. Jadwin like Gymnasium this. here. Yeah, it kind of looks like a little space lab or something. Well, we're going to go in there and see a little Princeton basketball. The Kirill Dome looks like his bald head. <laughs> Who do you think's going to win, Greg? I'm taking Princeton an upset. Oh, I mean, Carolina. <laughs> What's amazing is the scalpers market here. No the tickets. bustling of activity is ridiculous. No <laughs> tickets available. First sellout since 1991. A shot clock. Princeton's had to go under 10 the last couple of possessions. Three, two. Wallace gets it off. Is he going to make it? He does. Oh, that's a killer for a defense. Well, that's Princeton basketball. Though. Run it down. Take the legs wow. Look Johnson again. And he hit it again. Sidney Johnson gets the deficit back to 10. Uh -oh. Jameson uh -oh. with an attitude. Boy, he hammered that one home. And to think a couple of guys that had they stayed and not gone for the money, Rasheed, Rasheed Wallace, and Stackhouse would have been on this club of seniors. Right and McGinnis, now. right? And McGinnis. Uh -huh. sure. He's been smooching for a living. Eddie Cota. LA born, Brooklyn raised. Tigers down by 11. And get the deficit to single digit. 10 seconds on the shot by Johnson, way outside. Oh boy, it went so quickly, Zwicker thought he had it and went right through his legs. Princeton down six, a buck 40 to go. Princeton making a run at number 12, North Carolina. Bang! Three point game! Right now. Oh, excellent play. They got several fouls to give. That's coaching for you. Hey, Graham, they stayed in the zone. The zone sucks. What a play, Sydney! Yeah! Yeah, yeah Coda's the man. Seal the deal. on Entertainment Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this is Entertainment Night for us later. You know You're what? not watching ESPN 2. You don't know Bill. Yeah, I don't think you got this far on film, but he did ask us to dinner tonight. <laughs> Can we ask the band if they know how to play Sports Center? Let's do it. No, we can't. I wish we could.
talk to Pat real quick, man. Pat is an experienced member of the Tar Sport Network, and we just want to have a few words with him after this victory. Um, he seems to be a little bit preoccupied at the moment, but I'm sure once he notices who we are. Pat, yeah. 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 Hey, man, how you guys doing? Good, right? Good, right. Good, right. Good, right. Good, right. Come on, AJ, we need Pat's help. Step up to the plate, man. Stop being so shy. Hey, Pat. Yo, Pat. We need a microphone. That's what we need. Excuse me, Pat. Hey, Pat. We got we got a special scheme to get the trophy back from Nike Town. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? I'm in, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, in. yeah. He's in. All right, we'll talk to you. <laughs> we'll get back with Pat. The trophy's coming back, Chapel Hill. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. He's excellent. Well, the guy in the accordion played. I mean, that's the true test. One, two, three. <laughs> These guys are the greatest the names. These guys are the greatest. What's your name, sir? John Golden. John Golden. John Golden to the Princeton band. He's excellent. Pleasure meeting you, sir. Good to meet you. North Carolina. Back door. Carter. Oh, oh, baby. He brought it all down. Chadwick would be proud. coming back and we're I think we're going we're going we're, we're going. going we're going to San, San Antonio, Antonio baby <laughs> can you come with us well I'm sorry but we've got four tickets here that we've got to unload as soon as we can gotta get rid of them Kentucky fans everywhere trying to snake them away down low six rows from the floor looking good friends I'm sorry but we do have to run good night to everyone and a happy Easter to you as well. And later, after the final four ends, enjoy the lovely Fairfield Inn. 200, 300, 400, 500, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, that would be a thousand dollars, that's 20, that's 40, that's 90, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, hey, wait, 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 do you work two bucks short, and strip search, sir, check cavity, check all my cavities, <laughs> full cavity okay, sir. okay, well, we'll, we'll let you keep it, all, all right. right, we're back at the Fairfield Inn, Unfortunately, we found out that Fairfield doesn't stand for Final Four. Um, it stands for something? I don't know if The Fairfield Inn, just across the street from the Wildcat Brewery. It didn't work out too well. <laughs> but we've got cash in hand. How much do we have total? That's a thousand right there. A thousand, almost eleven hundred. Nearly eleven hundred dollars. How much is your stat? Oh, I don't know. We're looking at about reaching twenty-eight hundred. So that would be almost a total of. $3,900. It could have been worse. Carolina could have lost by 20. And we could have gotten 3800 That would have been worse. That would have sucked. Yeah. Tell me I'm right about that. He's right about that. 
We need to go do something, man. Let's get out of this place. Let's get out of. Hey, let's head to Krispy Kreme. I like uh, his idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah. When you need a picker upper, it is the double K. I knew there was a reason he was wearing the green instead of the, the green Carolina blue. Will lead us to the promised land when the Carolina blue did not. <laughs> Black bars. <laughs> did, did I mention we had in room movies here at the Fairfield? You are the in room movie. For room 309. <laughs> and I just stood there and stared. <laughs> I think at the Carib we were definitely the in room movie. There was some filming going on there. Something weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Closed captions. Black bar. Next we should go across the gut. <laughs> Oh, no cameras. Look at that. Look at that sweatshirt, man. That rocks. The Final Four experience was not good, man. We're tired of that gear, that wax stuff with the RAM. We're going for some double K Krispy Kreme gear. Grew up in a town that is famous as a place. Welcome to Indianapolis, home of the Final Four. Put on your game face. Let's go. Let's roll. Woo! You notice I'm wearing Carolina Blue, the hat. No question who I'm pulling for, but AJ with the shamrock green. What's up? Hey, I got it underneath, man. It's inside what counts. Are you sure that's part of the recipe there? <laughs> In Indianapolis, they just don't know how to make the Krispy Kreme, man. No standardization at all. See my face in lights, on my name, my monkeys found down on Broadway. Shed our kill on a gear and we switched to Krispy Kreme green. I knew there was a reason you were wearing a Krispy green Kreme shirt. Donuts. Yeah, uh, got to go with a real winner today. In 1993, we enjoyed some glazed shells. That's a donut without filling, but yeah, it's glazed. Down in Biloxi, Mississippi. We enjoyed it after a championship victory. This year, it's a loss. The taste is bittersweet. Ooh, it hurts. We had some sweet tickets, I might say. Our sponsors came through. We were in Fila Section 1, Row KK. K. K. KK as in Krispy Kreme, as in the hat. Hey, switch them, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These guys listen when I'm directed. They like that, you know? Anyway, is there Krispy Kreme in San Antonio? We need to open Oh, it. yeah! <laughs> Franchise, baby! Next year. It's more sweet than bitter. That was weak. That was so weak. Wait, wait, let's get this. Manny, let's get this. Dan is amazing at catching donuts. Get behind me. Can you get the donut? I got the donut. You got the donut? Okay. I got the donut. You got Dan? Do you have Dan? Where's Dan? Right there. I Dan, got Dan. Maybe pan back. You can I got it. Back. I got him. Okay. I'm going to throw the donut and Dan will catch it in his mouth. Stupid human tricks here on Tar Head Sports. Hey, stupid's a strong word. One, two. Yeah! Yes! He's the man! He's amazing! Unstoppable! <laughs> amazing Dan Andrewsel! One more time! One more time! Yeah, you need to do it again. This is not replay! The amazing Dan Andrewsel <laughs> catching a glazed shell in his mouth! <laughs> a most disgusting display! Can we mention that Dan is also the Dirty Dozen Dan? Dirty Dozen <laughs> Dan, the donut eating man of the world. He holds the all-time speed record for eating a dozen glazed donuts. Here we go, one more time. Dirty dozen Dan. One more time, here we go. <laughs> I failed him on the sauce. Here you go. I failed him. We got one more time. We got a little sauce. 
Yeah! Woo! Yeah! We're going all the way! San Antonio, baby! We'll see you there! Krispy Kreme! UFC! Vila! Number one! Woo! Yeah! Time is for Booyah! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> You're the number one regret on my lips Number one bad taste on my lips Of all my favorite things I wish I hadn't done Baby, you're number one I ain't got nothing new I can sing about don't even matter who did the walking out Things I can't endure